Hello NSA student, this is Mr. Hinton with the math department. I wanted to do a little supplemental video involving the exact values of the trig ratios. A lot of times the problems on the practice tests and tests will ask you to leave your answers in simplest radical form. Um, and what that means is they want exact values and uh, oftentimes the ACT is also going to ask you for exact values. So what I'm about to show you is something that is helpful for you um, in, in all of your academic life. So it's kind of a good thing to add to your cheat sheet for your test, but it's also a good thing to at some point commit to memory. The exact values of the trig ratios are going <clears> to <throat> always come from the angles of your special right triangles. We have a 45-45-90 triangle and a 30 60 90 triangle drawn here so you can so we can label these now we know from our uh, ratios related to our 45 45 90 triangle and our 30 60 90 triangle in the 45 45 90 triangle it's isosceles so if one leg is one uh, the other leg is one and hypotenuse is always the square root of two times that so from this we can do uh, the sine of 45 degrees which is the opposite over the hypotenuse 1 over the square root of 2 which if you multiply top and bottom by the square root of 2 to put this in a rationalized form we get the square root of 2 over 2. All right. So the sine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2 cosine of 45 degrees is also the square root of 2 over 2 because uh, the adjacent side and the opposite side are the same. And then uh, the tangent of 45 degrees is the opposite over the adjacent, so that's 1 over 1, which is 1. So these three trig values are going to be the exact values for the sine of 45, cosine of 45, and tangent of 45 degrees. All right, so those are the three values uh, that you would need for that triangle. Now, the 30, 60, 90 triangle, because it has two different angles, it's going to have uh, different values uh, for the sine and cosine. If the opposite side is 1, the hypotenuse is twice as long as that, and the long leg of the triangle, the side opposite the 60 degree angle, is the square root of 3. Okay, so now we can do the sine of 30 degrees. It's just the opposite side over the hypotenuse. That's 1 over 2. The cosine of 30 degrees is the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. And then the uh, tangent of 30 degrees is equal to 1 over the square root of 3. Uh, which, if you rationalize it, is the square root of 3 over 3. All right. And the sine of 60 degrees, we can do the other angle. Sine of 60 degrees is equal to the opposite side from 60 is the square root of 3. The cosine of 60 degrees is the adjacent side to 60 and then uh, the tangent of 60 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 1. So those are the other six exact values for the trig functions of the special angles. So anytime um, you are told to find the exact value of something that's related to trigonometry. If there was a sign, if you're talking about the sine of 60 degrees, for example, then uh, this is the exact value that you would plug in. They don't want you to use a decimal value, they want you to use that square root of 3 over 2 instead of the decimal value that you would get. So make sure that you add this to your uh, note sheet for your test, and anytime it's asking for exact values or uh, answers in radical form, you would use these values instead of punching the trig function into your calculator and getting a decimal. Thanks and have a great day.